Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to OOOO Pet Environment YouTube channel. Thank you for visiting OOOO. Okay, today I will continue my project. Last project I ended here. So today I will do this foundation structure. Foundation level 2, print level, ground floor levels. So I will do dot down construction. I will start from print level going down. So let's get start. We will adjust our setting. Our brick retaining wall will be 2 feet 3 inches thick. Then I will put it another 2 more step footing. Then I will do for foundation pad. Our dimension for the retaining wall below ground 3 feet 6 plus 3 feet until print level start from foundation level above 1 feet 6 inches then top level will be ground floor level offset 0 ok then our wall location I will use exterior no offset so I will start creating here our wall so now currently our wall is out what so just hit space bar okay then here I will do parameter retaining wall first Then one complete parameters. So we have our retaining wall plane level to stack wall level. Then we will do internal walls also. So stack click. Okay, one complete circle. Okay, let's see our 3D model here. I will see from below. So our retaining wall here. We have parameter retaining wall and internal void retaining wall. So we need another one more retaining wall. So same procedure we will start from here. Okay, this time I will use wall center line and I will use rectangular too. Start from here, I place it here. So we have finished another one more retaining wall. So we will need another internet diaphragm wall. So I will use line. And also, I I place here. Then we will need another center line here. We need another wall here. Because we have super such a wall. So we need retaining wall. Then we will do same internet retaining wall. We need to place it wherever we need it. We are now coming to a wow. room. Okay, finally we have our frontage main office walls. So this time I will you 
exterior wall, right? Start from here, all the way to the center. So we have completed our retaining wall, ground floor level to foundation level. So now we complete until here. So we need another two more stack, three feet wide and three feet nine. Each will be nine inches height. Okay, let's do it. Same procedure for architecture wall. We need to duplicate another wall type. So this time will be three feet zero. Okay. Okay, so we need edit our wall structure three feet. Okay. Okay. So I will step another stack tiny wall, nine inches thick. Okay, I start from lower right corner, this corner, for the stack wall. So I will start from this corner. Okay, setting will be foundation level 0 feet 9 inches to 1 feet 6 inches. So I will use exterior. Then I will make offset 4.5 inches. I start construction here. Then we will have orientation is outward now so need to hit space bar so i have here my stack wall the whole parameter need to do So one complete loop. So I need another one more stack retaining wall. So same procedure wall, architecture wall. I need to duplicate another stack wall. This time will be three feet nine inches wide. Okay. I need to modify my structure three feet nine inches. Okay. Okay. So this time will be foundation level zero. Then up to foundation level above nine inches. Okay. So also four point five offset from exterior. Okay, I set from here again. Okay, now what is our what? It to space bar once. Okay. okay, now I'm coming to front row and go to here. Okay, then we will do done a stack with the new wall. So we'll go architecture wall. For this is uh, 0, 9, 1 feet 6 inches. Okay, offset 4.5 inches. Okay, I will step from the yeah, external wall. This wall will be 3 feet. We step from here. Space. Yeah. Actually, we can use rectangular tool also. Okay, another 3 feet 9. This time will be base offset 0, 9 inches, 4.5 again. Use rectangular tool. Yeah. So we finish in done a void. Done a void, two stack. Done it. Then we need main building, stack wall. Three feet wide. Start from nine inches. Above 1.5 in feet. Okay. 4.5 inches offset. We start doing 
for center line. So I start here all the way to front. Then here also. Okay. Then we need front to back. Then we will need here. We need all retaining wall to be defeat stack wall. Okay, so we have completed all retaining wall structure. You can see here, see from below. Okay, now we completed our foundation retaining wall structure for the whole project. So, next step, we need to go for the foundation pad. Currently, we are completed this. The tiny wall and stack the tiny walls up to ground floor level and level. So, we need to do another step where we this concrete foundation pad. This will be 80 inches thickness and width will be I will choose to 4 feet 6 inches. I think Rapid will provide this huge width concrete foundation pad. Rabbit has the main width. So it doesn't matter, we will go with what Rabbit provided foundation pad width first. Later we will modify it. So we will go to foundation plan. We will cut some section elevation. So we, I cut here. Yeah. Then I will see our section. Okay, now we are going to construct our foundation pad. 4 feet thick by 1 feet 6 inches thick. Okay, before this, we will check our structure dimension. The I for dimension from here to here. Yes, 3 feet 9 inches. Next step will be 4 feet 6 with concrete foundation pad. So we need to go to 3D, arrange for single view. So more bigger working area we get it. So we need to go underneath our project. This will be our foundation structure. So what we need to do, we need to go structure and such a wall. Okay, we start with the default foundation pad, what Rabbit provided. So we create wall, just select underneath the last layer of the tiny wall. Yes, okay, this way we Rabbit provided the default foundation pad. We need to select all. Okay, let's check our section. Okay, as you can see here, this will be Rabbit provided foundation pad. This, this side. Actually, we need bigger side. So we need to modify. Okay, let's go back to our 3D. Okay, so we select one of the concrete pad. Then we will modify. Then this will be rapid provided standard. So we need to duplicate, call it BTI foundation 4 feet 6 inches by 80 inches. Okay, so we need to check with 4 feet 6 inches and thickness will be 80 inches. Okay. We have our required foundation. We will continue for all and we change our require our foundation side. Okay, now we have completed all our concrete foundation pad using the four foundation pad side. 
change to require our foundation side. So I need to do, I select it all, filter, uncheck all, and only structural foundation bed. Apply, okay. So we will change to our newly created 4 feet 6 by 180 inches DDI foundation bed. So we have completed all our concrete foundation pad. So we go back to our session. We will see our foundation pad here already completed. So we will check the mission. Yeah, we need our foundation pad. One four P six five one P six. Type VG or BB on the keyboard. Look for the floor. We will do transparent around 80%, 85%. Okay. Okay. So we can see our foundation. Or maybe we can see another way to session box. I will push it down. So we completed our foundation. So we need to modify our portico pillars. Now portico pillar is standing at ground floor level. So we need to go down until foundation level. Okay, down until foundation level. Okay, this type also. Go until foundation level. This additional pillars. Square pillars. We need to go down until foundation levels. Okay. Okay. So we need to do vertical pillar foundation. Now we are now in the modeling stage. So I will use model in place. Change category to foundation. Vertical pillar one foundation. Okay. We I need to do is to change okay this time i will use step start from zero minus 80 inches one three six then i will use pick line two and then i will slightly need to be bigger than this shape so maybe six inches to offset slightly bigger than this shape so i will do use pick line two yeah and this 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 yeah yeah and also yeah yeah should be outside okay i need to make one close loop for our extrusion so i need to trim type tr for trim and extend in the keyboard trim trim I will trim here all the way. I need to trim. Also trim. This one trim. So our foundation shape will be this shape. The one need to go down 80 inches. Okay. Okay, go down. So I will change material from here. I go to materials library. I need to change material to cast in situ concrete type concrete okay this time I will use cast in situ concrete okay so we finish foundation yeah I think we have our foundation shape uh, not incorrect to edit we have to click here edit extrusion Pick line 2 and 6 inches offset here. Yeah. So trim and extend TR should be this shape. Okay, okay, this will be our vertical pillar foundation. Finish it. Okay, we will do another foundation. 
this foundation also same thing architecture to modern in play go to family type will be foundation category pillar foundation 2 okay same as previous we need to use extrusion go down by 80 inches offset 6 inches okay using pick line outside right outside right okay okay this part we need only until here only the rest are inside already so offset will be zero i need to pick this line okay okay so we need to assign material go to library same concrete cast in situ concrete okay finish it so we have completed all for our vertical foundation copy to opposite side mirror so i do flip it so i can get full foundation for vertical entrance okay let's see for below this very main building foundation and vertical pillar foundation all completed for foundation so we will go for superstructure walls okay for the superstructure wall i don't need foundation floor plan we will need ground floor level plan so tight the blue tee for multiple windows we will start for brick wall for main building we will based on our floor plan okay our wall will be 30.5 inches brick wall parameters and internal walls so we go to floor plan go to architecture walls wall we need to modify okay any wall we can choose it edit duplicate with the name vti wall that d.5 inches width okay so we need to change our structure 30.5 inches wall okay then i will add another plaster for internal surface no plaster brick wall texture for external surface internal surface will be plaster wall so edit i add another one more layer this structure will be 0.75 inches category i will search for plaster okay we have a plaster okay i use this plaster wall okay thickness will be 0.75 inches 34 inches but we are not at the external surface so we place it at the internet surface okay okay so our wall has two surface internet without plaster internet with the plaster so we will start creating our walls okay now we start constructing our wall type blue a on the keyboard so we will use external face and here okay we also external then i will use a way command select the wall type here start from here to the same span where end it maybe here okay you can see here this figure maybe i will change to how many span 60 span not correct maybe 70 yes 70 span 
then select one of them and ungroup it so you can get independent span wall so we will continue for the leftover wall tight blue air So this wall, I need to do array command again. A R start from here, maybe end here. How many span? I am not sure. Try it. Fifteen. Yeah, correct. So we have our wall inside the cluster. So we will continue another wall. Type the blue A. Is done now. Is done now. Then here, yeah. Then all is done there. I need to do manually. Okay, this one has same span. So type er. I will start from here and here. How many span? Maybe change it twelve. See now incorrect thirteen. Yes, that is okay. Select one of them and group it for independent wall. So we need to continue for another wall. Okay, we have another wall here. It's a center flush. Okay, mostly we have completed our walls. Okay, we have another wall using wall center line. This here. Is here. Okay, we go for both side clustering, duplicate clustering. Oh, okay. We need to modify. I will insert another category. Point seven five inches materials. We are using cluster, so we have both side cluster. Okay, okay. The blue air or both side cluster. Another type. Okay, with this time we have copied it for faster way. Okay, then then we have copy again this to yeah. We can have all our walls copy from here to here. Another one. Yeah, we left. Front row, don't divide the row to blue A, enter here, then here, okay. So we finish our ground floor level wall creation. We need to do for another floor, maybe same wall to be. We need to construct. Okay, so I will go to southern elevation and select my ground floor level walls. Peter, check now. Select only walls. Apply it. Okay. Then I will place on there first floor level. Copy. Place on there first floor level. Then okay. So now we have completed our brick work. Foundation structures, the whole project, and also we finish it our every partition and walls. Everything we completed for the walls and partition, including one side exterior, repectant and interior. Plastering. Some place where we both side plastering. This will be our model. So next step will be doors and window and roofing. So let me end here for this tutorial. And thank you for visiting. Oh 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 oh. See you guys. Thank you.